Okay, so I wanted to do something pretty interesting today. This is a very old game. We all know the original Halo Combat Evolved. I don't need to get into too much detail. But I always thought, if there was ever a game type in this mode, for this gameplay period, there should be one that's called Chaos. And so I thought to myself, how would I set this up? So the first part of this, obviously, is you have to modify the sniper rifle. And I made it do this. Now that's firepower. Simple, easy, fun to use. So all I had to do was mod a little bit, play around with it. But uh, yeah, sniper rifle is semi-auto with the uh, tank rounds. Beautiful, high-powered tank rounds. The shotgun, well, has no control switch, really. We all understand what I mean. I'm going to stand about here. This is about a safe distance. And I'm going to launch a Warthog clean to the other side of the map. Or I can just do this and guess where my opponent is and hope I hit him. I wanted to make a game attempt where everything was just ridiculous. Ridiculous. Now, of course, there's other weapons in this game. And it would be unfair just to mod those. So, I decided, okay, I'm going to switch up the pistol as well. So, the way I went about doing that was thinking, hey, why don't I just make this thing into a rocket launcher? And then make it a fully automatic pistol. So, the end result is... Because when firepower isn't quite enough, you could just make a fort by just firing away at everything. And lastly, but not least, the most iconic weapon in the game series. The standard assault rifle. Now, there's really only way to let this thing go, so I decided to let it come with a bang, literally. This also fires tank rounds. And it fires a lot of them very quickly. Enough to overwhelm the idea of even conceiving doing anything else. And as you can see, I was able to keep that poor warthog in a hover. But then I thought, well that's boring, what else can we do? So, I present to you fuel rods getting shot out of a Ghost. Why not? Of course, that can happen if you lose control. That was just me showcasing that. The black warthogs, I really can't do much to them, so, you know, unfortunate for that. However, if I go over here to the normal warthog, you will notice that there is something a bit unusual about this weapon. Yeah, that happens. Let's just toss the enemies into the air like salad. <laughs> if you're ever having trouble with the neighborhood kids, well, there's your easy solution. Now, last but not least, the least liked probably vehicle in this game for some reason. The Banshee. And well, that's actually not that hard to imagine. But until you turn it into a mobile artillery strike, then you can actually do something with it. And because it's a Banshee, it's absurdly accurate. And it will send tanks flying. And if you really just feel like air striking, you can literally just send this thing in a volley. And eventually what goes up must come down. Now of course with this being an older game, it has a hard time just rendering or even saying half of that. But, for example, if I do this, you'll just see white blurs. 
everything except making impact way down range. Perfect for crowd control situations or just destroying everything in front of you just because you can. I said a mobile airstrike. So yeah, that's one of the things I wanted to do in this game eventually, you know. I thought, you know, hey, playing on console, I'd be good, but, uh, you know, PC superiority when it comes to mods, I will give them that. Interesting stuff that's out there.